In today's video, you're gonna learn everything you need to know about the city of Bermuda Dunes, California, located in the Palm Springs area. My name is Tommy Jordan and I'm your Palm Springs area realtor. Okay, before we get started, make sure to smash that like button so more people can see this video and also subscribe to learn about the Palm Springs area on a weekly basis. So to get us started, we're gonna look at and first see where Bermuda Dunes, California is located in the Palm Springs area. And I'm gonna go through different things like shopping, dining, housing prices, basically, like I said, everything you need to know about this city, because this city is a gem and not too many people know about it. So watch this video so you could be in the know and make sure you stay to the end because that's where I'm gonna get into the good things, <laughs> the better stuff, the housing prices, because that's probably why you watch my channel. So let's first take a look at this map. So Bermuda Dunes is located right here along the 10 freeway, okay? So sort of in the north part of town, okay? So nearby is Palm Desert, you have Indio, La Quinta, and then Indian Wells is over here, you know, to the south. So it's sort of in the middle between a few different cities right here. If we zoom out, you could see Palm Springs is over here. So just to show you, because you might be wondering, you might be from Oregon, Washington, Canada, okay? Or you might just be somewhere else, but you come into town via, uh, via, through the airport, okay? On airplane, okay? Not train or, you know, horse and buggy, but airplane. All right, 30 minute drive from the Palm Springs International Airport to Bermuda Dunes. So it's not terrible, honestly, okay? One of the nice things about living in Bermuda Dunes, so it is an unincorporated city of Riverside County, okay? Where these other cities are incorporated. So one of the perks of that is this city, and I'll just start us off, okay? This city allows short-term rentals. Now, a lot of the other cities like Palm Desert, Indian Wells, La Quintas, they have a lot of restrictions, whether it being they don't allow short-term rentals at all, or maybe just a few communities allow short-term rentals. In Bermuda Dunes, if you're in a non-gated part, you're allowed to do short-term rentals. It's Riverside County. So this city has, lot, has seen a lot of growth because of that, because then people are leaving some of these other areas because not everyone can own a second home, you know, without renting it out. Or maybe you just want to buy a, a second home and have it as an income property and use it every now and then. Well, Bermuda Dunes just offers you so much more. So one thing that's great about it is it is close to everything. So you, if you see right here, you have Indian Wells. Okay. So one of the main streets for Bermuda Dunes is Washington Street. So when you're on the freeway, Washington is a main exit that you'll take. And you, when you get off Washington Street, you're literally right there in Bermuda Dunes, okay, right by the freeway. Now the other side of the, the freeway, the, uh, the other side of Bermuda Dunes, you have Jefferson Street. So if you actually, if you've seen some of my other videos, okay, I actually covered La Quinta in depth, Palm Desert in depth. Okay, Jefferson and Washington take you all the way into La Quinta or over to Highway 111 where you could check out the rest of the valley like Indian Wells. So if you look right here, Bermuda Dunes, the main road that goes through Bermuda Dunes is Avenue 42, okay? This goes direct, directly through uh, Bermuda Dunes, okay? And if we look up from Bermuda Dunes and you take Washington, well, guess what? You actually have the Indian Wells Tennis Stadium, okay, where we just had the BNP Paribas event. Super fun. You got to come into town for that. It's about two weeks, okay? Um, so right here down the street, it, it maybe depending where you are in Bermuda Dunes to get to that tennis tournament, it might be a five minute drive, if that. So that's really nice. That's a perk, okay? Also, if you want to go to all the main shopping and dining where all the action is, okay, they call El Paseo the Beverly Hills of the desert or the Rodeo Drive of the desert, okay? So right over here is El Paseo, okay? And this is where a lot of restaurants, shops, um, you also have, you know, the shops at Palm Desert, which used to be called the Westfield Mall. That's one of the largest indoor malls in the desert. Um, you know, the Yard House, the river over here in Rancho Mirage. So if you're in Bermuda Dunes, you're not far, okay? And I'm going to get into housing prices at the end, like I said, but... Over here, you're going to get more affordable houses um, than a Palm Desert or Rancho Mirage. But the perk about this city is you're still close to everything, which is nice. And if you're looking to use this house as a short-term rental, people really love it. Because 
renting here in Bermuda Dunes, you have access to all these different places in the valley. And say you want to go over to La Quinta, okay? You want to go to all the big box stores over here in La Quinta? Boom, not far away, okay? You want to go down to Old Town La Quinta over here? Maybe a 15-minute drive. So very, I would say, central. Now it is more towards the freeway. So naturally, it's going to be a little windier than other parts of the valley, okay? I actually have family that live in this area, so I know it pretty well, okay? By the way, if you're thinking about moving to the Palm Springs area or even Bermuda Dunes, I would love to help you. My contact information is below. I have people reaching out to me all the time from YouTube, so don't be shy. I would love to chat with you and help you out. If you're living in Bermuda Dunes, most likely you're going to go to this grocery store right here, okay? Or these grocery stores. So right here on Washington and Avenue 42, you have a Ralph's Fresh Fair, okay? And then an Albertsons right across the street. So that's really nice. In, so this is a fun little thing, Mario's Italian Cafe. It's a local thing to the desert. You got to go to Mario's. They, they claim they have the biggest wine glass in the valley for five bucks. So, you know, but it's fun. Okay. Mario's is fun. If you zoom in, Just Java Coffee. Shout out to Just Java. I go here every now and then when I'm in the area. Okay. Actually, I go here quite, quite frequently. I love my coffee. Like this video if you like coffee, if you haven't already. Just Java is great because they have a drive through Okay. And you have a Walgreens and all that. But Just Java, great little coffee shop so yeah you have all that stuff a home goods you'll see right here a great clips all of that right around the corner in Bermuda Dunes so that's pretty nice you don't have to go far okay and if you go towards the freeway over here bordering Bermuda Dunes you have EOS Fitness which is great um, you have a pharmacy you have a lot of other stuff right here you have the chef noodle uh, that's a nice little Chinese restaurant, but we went to China Walk last night, which is somewhere over here. China Walk, okay, gotta love Ita uh, Chinese food. And then if you zoom in, okay, one place you have to check out, it's not showing up, it's called the Cookie Plug. They make the most delicious cookies, okay? It's sort of like a hip hop vibe. They have like Suge Knight and Snoop Dogg, like, like pictures on the wall. It's pretty cool, okay, not gonna lie, it's pretty sweet. So Bermuda Dunes has a mix of gated in non-gated areas, okay? So one thing Bermuda Dunes has is a country club, one country club in Bermuda Dunes, and it's called Bermuda Dunes Country Club. Now I'll tell you, Bermuda Dunes Country Club has larger custom homes that are detached. Um, they have condos as well, a mix of everything. But one nice thing about Bermuda Dunes is the HOA for this country club is super reasonable. It's like a few hundred bucks. Compared, comparably, if you were in a city like Rancho Mirage, Indian Wells, you're talking six, eight hundred, nine hundred dollars for HOA. City like Bermuda Dunes, it's going to be more affordable, all right? And you know, with real estate, it all comes down to location. But it's a very nice country club they have a golf course all of that clubhouse that kind of thing so I wanted to show you that and that's located right here so, so you see these lakes right here yeah the desert doesn't have many lakes they're man-made right so this is Bermuda Dunes Country Club sort of all over here south of Avenue 42 it pretty much takes up almost like half of the city the city is very small so if you're looking at the city right now population it said in 2010 when they did, did a census was around 7,500 people. There might be 15,000 people there today. So not many. I would say size-wise, it's very comparable to Indian Wells with how small it is. Okay, Indian Wells sort of backs up here. Uh, well, it's sort of right here, Highway 111 backs up against the mountain, and then you have to count Tuscana Country Club because that's Indian Wells. So size-wise, very similar. So it's a very sort of quiet, okay? Washington's a busy street, but people going through Avenue 42, most likely they live in Bermuda Dunes or they're just trying to go, go across to Jefferson. But lots of families that live here, retirees. Now there's lots of now second homes, uh, vacation rentals here because people are really cashing in on the short-term rental craze, okay? Now, if you zoom in, you have an airport. So there actually is a small airport in Bermuda Dunes, okay? And the planes take off 
this way, so going west. So just be careful if you're looking in some of these communities here. These are Most of these are non-gated communities all over here north of Avenue 42 across from Bermuda Dunes Country Club. So be careful if you're at the end of the runway. It might get a little loud, but they are smaller planes. Now, if you're looking to go to L.A., Orange County, San Francisco, they have small, so they have companies, I don't like NetJet, but those companies where you could like charter a private plane and just get a few seats or whatever, they have companies that fly in and out all day long in Bermuda Dunes um, where you could do that. You don't even have to go to Palm Springs International Airport. So that's a plus right there if you like, you know, private jet travel because who doesn't like that? Now, if we look back at Bermuda Dunes, let me show you a unique street Bermuda Dunes has. So by the way, I just saw Goody's Cafe. You got to go to Goody's Cafe. I love diners, okay? That's a fun diner, okay? It's just what you expect from a diner, but you could get everything there. So thanks, Google Maps, for showing us that. Oh, and right, right across the freeway while we're at it, all the major car dealerships in the valley are right over here. And then they have the rest of the car dealerships over in Palm Springs, um, Cathedral City. Um, actually, Cathedral City is where the majority of the other car dealerships are. And then you have high-end car dealerships in Rancho Mirage, so Indigo Auto Group. So there you go if you're wondering. Now, Yucca Lane, this is what I was trying to tell you. Yucca Lane is great. So on Yucca Lane, people own acre, two acres, multiple acres. And here are where you can see these lots. Look how big these lots are. This is where if you want a nice, big, custom home, this is where you're going to build it on Yucca Lane, okay? That's a great street. We have a few schools. We have Desert Christian Academy, which is a highly rated school right over here, DCA. That's a private school. But also, we actually have a public school as well, and that's James Monroe Elementary School. So if your kids are going to school and they're in high school or junior high, you'll get the option to send your kids to probably Palm Desert or La Quinta um, for school. There's Shadow Hills High School, which is not far from Bermuda Dunes. So let's take a look here at this map. So like I said, up here is mostly non-gated housing now. Let's look at housing prices because that's really the last part of this equation. You know, I showed you where it is in reference to everything else in the valley, some pros about the city being more affordable. Let's now look at that affordability. So here's average, the price of the average size of detached home in each city. So Bermuda Dunes Country Club right here, the average home is 2,500 square feet. So on the larger side, price per square foot, $374,000, okay? Now I'll tell you, Bermuda Dunes in the last, you know, 10, 12 years has experienced a lot of price growth, 215%. And compared to other places in the Valley, like Palm Desert Indian Wells, they haven't experienced quite that amount of growth. So a lot of people are now going elsewhere, like Indio, you know, Bermuda Dunes, where, you know, it's a little more affordable because prices have gotten so, so high. So not bad, 727, sorry, that's Palm Desert, 754,000, so slightly more affordable than even Palm Desert, which is great. Now for a condo or a town, a townhome, attached home, you're going to be looking at $379,000 for an attached home. So if you're looking for a more affordable place in the Palm Springs area or a place to do short-term rentals, this is a city that you're going to have to check out because not a lot of people know about it. So thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want videos like this on a weekly basis. Like the video and I'll see you next week. And if you're looking, by the way, to move out here, I would love to help you. My contact information's down below.